I am a cybersecurity SaaS app founder, but that's not going very well. They say that overnight success takes years, and I believe that to be true. But frankly, with all of the technical issues I've been running into with the development of my app and the general stagnation of my business, it's kind of led to a lot of burnout. It's led to a lot of burnout. It's not even a really kind of thing. I've made a lot of mistakes. CICD, lack of testing, lack of just quality software development principles in general. I myself just kind of rush things. And that's something that I've kind of yelled at other people about, but it's something that I fell for myself, which kind of sucks. It's humbling. Let's pivot a bit. One of the things that I've learned a lot through weightlifting and most recently running is that while quality of a workout might matter a lot and doing things efficiently in the right way, quantity and consistency matter probably more than that. You might have somebody who works out the most efficient way possible. They know all of the best ways to move their body in the most efficient way in order to build more muscle or to become a better runner and have more endurance and all of this other stuff. And then you might have somebody who doesn't work out that scientifically. You've got somebody who might not work out super efficiently, but that latter person is going to the gym three to five times a week and the person who's working out super efficiently is only working out super efficiently three or four times a month. The person who's working out inefficiently, consistently, is probably going to do better over the long term. The person who is working out efficiently might have you know, some gains. They might become slightly better runners. They might become slightly stronger. But the person who shows up consistently and puts in the reps as consistently as possible is going to be the one who succeeds. I was thinking about that the other day with respect to software development. And it kind of made me realize something. I realized over the last couple of weeks that I have not put in the reps myself. I've literally only built one SaaS application. I've only deployed one thing to prod on my own. Like I've obviously done other things during like my nine to five, but in terms of like things that I have produced and put up online, I've done one. And that one thing is not going super well because I haven't put in the reps. I haven't been consistent. I have not done this multiple times. I've done multiple different things with Grabber app, like deploying new features and different things like that. But in reality, I've, I've done a singular rep of putting a SaaS application online. And it kind of made me think about it. Like, obviously I'm not going to do it the most efficient way. I'm not gonna be the guy who's being the most efficient in the way that I'm developing SaaS applications, but I'm also not putting the reps in. So of course my software sucks. That's one of the things that a lot of other YouTubers that I look up to like Prime and Theo have talked about a lot where the best way to become better at coding is not like learning the new framework and becoming a really great theoretical software developer. You've got to develop software in order to get better. And I realize that that applies to deploying SaaS applications to production. I haven't been doing that. I came up with possibly the stupidest way to fix this problem. I'm going to be releasing 10 different applications over the next year to production for people to use, period. That's, that's the plan. That's basically the plan. The plan is to basically brute force it and really practice. I'm going to get my CI CD knowledge down so I can deploy these things fast and know that they're going to work once they're deployed. I'm going to get my testing solutions down so that I can develop better software that's actually tested and that I know will actually work. I'm going to really actually understand React instead of just kind of like throwing components into a folder and hoping that they're all rendering the correct way. I'm going to actually do it right and relearn React and actually understand JavaScript instead of just doing it the crappy way that I have been doing and just kind of like throwing shit at the wall and hoping that it compiles. The plan is actually fairly simple. There's not like a ton of like complex architecture here. The first project, and I'm not going to reveal all of the projects yet because I didn't, I'm not entirely certain that I'm going to stick with all of them. But the first project is going to be a personal landing page. This is going to be something that will have links to all of the other stuff that I do. So my blog, my YouTube channel, all of my like donation places, Patreon, coffee, all of that. Um, and my research, obviously, that's going to post to all of that different stuff. But that is going to be the central place where all of the links go out and tell you where to find all of the other stuff and what the other stuff is. Then I'm going to follow the playground principle. And this is something that I'm kind of making up. I don't know if it's like a thing elsewhere, but it's something that I'm making up. The playground principle being I'm going to use that one server to deploy all of my other apps as kind of like microservices that are running on that server. It's probably going to be a Kubernetes type setup there, which is another fun thing that I get to learn. 
um, but basically it's all going to sit there and all of the links are all going to go out there and if something pops off and it needs more resources I'll deploy it to separate infrastructure and market it and all of that other fun stuff we'll talk about the money here in a second but basically this is going to be my playground this is going to be where all of my fun stuff is deployed and you can go and interact with it and have fun with it and all of that so that is the plan at least um, as for grabber app that's not going anywhere. I'm not going to stop development. I've got a bunch of really fun features that I'm planning on working on for that. Um, if you're not familiar, Grabber App is my cybersecurity SaaS. I will link to a video that explains it a little bit more in depth um, up above, below, somewhere, everywhere. Um, but that's, that's going to continue. I'm gonna keep working on solutions for that. I'm going to keep working on the front end for that because God, is it ugly. But the, the truth of the matter is, is all of these different apps that I'm building out I'm building them out so I can get better at developing my one thing because I really believe in it. I really believe that it's like an important thing to build out and folks are starting to use it, which is awesome. Um, but, you know, the, the core message here is I'm not giving up on Grabber app that's not going to like sit in my GitHub and be abandoned like the rest of my projects are. It's, it's going to keep going. In fact, if I stick to the list of 10 things that I'm planning on developing, there are at least two of them that I'm going to actually integrate within Grabber app. So they're going to be directly applicable. So uh, a couple of things. I'm thinking about live streaming this stuff. I'm thinking about making a lot of it open source. So I'm going to live stream it and kind of have that be a piece of content. The rest of it, I'm going to do lots of devlogs on and keep kind of folks updated on things that I learn throughout this process, because that's the goal is to learn a lot. Also, most of it or all of it is going to be free or donutware. Um, donutware meaning like I'll have donation links and there might be like extra features that you can unlock with donations. Not entirely sure what that's going to look like, but um, we will see. On that note, you can find my coffee and Patreon down in the description. I do all of this stuff for free because YouTube doesn't pay me and probably won't for the foreseeable future. So I kind of rely on donations as kind of like a, hey, we like your stuff. You should keep doing it. That's about it. Check out Grabber App. It's cool. Development's continuing. Keep your eye on this space uh, to kind of get a feel for what I'm working on. And that's about it. Take it easy. Peace.